Welcome to our tutorial on setting up the Shortel system as a data source for your Brightmetrics reporting services. If you're the first user to be set up for your company, and this is the first time you're logging in, upon login, you'll immediately be taken to the data sources menu. This is where you can add Shortel to your Brightmetrics service, set it up, and begin collecting data to report on. If you've received this service through your Shortel reseller, it's possible that this has already been done for you. If that's the case, you can watch the rest of this tutorial to see how to reinstall the agent in the event you need to do that, or you can skip this and move right into using the system. If Shortel has not been set up as a data source for you yet, you can select the Shortel data source icon to begin the process. Most of the options for the new data source instance can be left as is in standard configurations. If this is your first or only Shortel data source, you can leave the name as just Shortel if you like, or you can name it something else. If the agent will reside on the Shortel server itself, you can use the localhost IP address of 127.0.0.1 as the IP address. If the agent will reside on another server, then enter the Shortel server address here. If you're on a recent version of the Shortel software, then you can leave the version as the default 10 and up. If you're on a very old version of Shortel, you can select an older version. Note that we do not support versions prior to 7.5. It's very important to enter the correct extension length for your system in the next field. Note that if your extensions include dashes, such as the use of extension prefixes, that counts as a digit. So an extension plan such as 51-300 would be a six-digit extension length. Unless you have specifically changed the MySQL user ID and password for Shortel, you do not need to change either of the next two fields. If you were installing the Shortel data source on an existing agent, if for example you have other data sources that you use Brightmetrics to report on, then you would press Choose Agent and be presented with a list of your current agents to configure. Since this is our first data source here, you'll want to select Install a new agent and then give that agent a name. This can be any name that you like. After you're satisfied with your choices, hit Create. This will bring you to the instructions to install the agent. This video assumes that you are going through this process on the system that you will be installing the agent. If that's not the case, download the agent, copy it to the machine you want to install it on, and continue the setup process there. Follow the instructions on this screen to download the agent. After the download is complete, run the agent and follow the instructions to set it up. At the prompt, enter the username and password exactly as it has been given to you. If you're comfortable doing it, feel free to copy and paste them into the appropriate fields. You will get a notification that the agent is starting. When that window disappears, continue following the instructions by selecting the data source management link, or you can navigate to the data sources selection from the left hand navigation menu. Initially, you may see the last update column all in red. If you refresh a couple of times, you should begin to see these turn green. Depending on the size of your Shortel database, it may take several minutes for them all to turn green. After they've all changed to green, you'll be able to begin creating charts and reports from your Shortel system.